Before we go this morning, we'll talk about Jim Mad Dog Mandich. Now, he was a very popular tight end on the great Miami Dolphins Super Bowl teams of the 1970s, including the undefeated team in 1972. Jim passed away in 2011 from cancer, but his family and friends to this day continue to honor the legacy that he left behind. This morning, I'll talk with his son, Nick Mandich. Nick, thank you so much for being back on today. <laughs> well, Jenna, thank you very much for having me, and uh, I'm glad to be back on the program. Great. Now, Nick, I know you never get tired of talking about your dad. No, never get tired of talking about him. I mean, he meant the world to me, obviously, you know, being my father and as a mentor and, you know, just guiding me through my life and... Uh, and my brothers, Michael Manich and Mark Manich, you know, guiding them. And there's not a day that goes by where I don't think of him and think of what he would do in a certain situation or how he would handle something and, uh, and kind of just, you know, taught the principles of living uh, a respectful life and giving back to the community, giving back to charity and to your family. And, uh, and uh, you know, really proud to have him as my father and have had him as my father. So. Your father definitely did give back to his community and another thing that I know your father loved was coming down to the Keys. He especially loved fishing. Absolutely. I mean, he loved uh, he loved fishing. He loved trying to fish. <laughs> I mean, if you ever saw him operate on a boat, it was uh, pretty funny. I mean, he wasn't the best operator, but it was something that he loved, you know, so it was a passion that we shared together. So our time in the Keys um, was, in my opinion, our most magical time, you know, together. And, uh, and you know, he really loved the atmosphere of the Keys, the laid back environment. You know, he's hustling nonstop throughout the week, radio shows and gigs for the Dolphins and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And to kind of just have uh, a place where he could come down and, and, and you know, decompress, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was really special to him. And, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm here now just uh, living it, keeping it going. <laughs> You're and, doing the same thing <laughs> your dad was doing, right? Because now you come down here to Isle Morada a lot and you, you continue to fish. Oh yeah, continue to fish and continue to support uh, the Isle of Morada community or the Florida Keys itself in a whole. Um, and, uh, and it's my thing, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's my deal. And, Absolutely. And well now speaking of fishing, Nick, let's talk about a fishing classic that you guys have coming up to, to honor Mad Dog. Yeah, it's to honor my father, um, Jim Mad Dog Manage, and it's uh, October 18th and 19th, Mad Dog Manage Fishing Classic. It's, it's a good time. <laughs> and, you know, that's what it's all about, and that's what we're all about. It's a fun fish tournament, um, dolphin, tuna, wahoo, and there's a, a category for grouper and snapper, and, uh, and you know, 400 bucks to enter. You get you get two nights of partying. The captain's party is at is at a, a restaurant, Ziggy and Mad Dogs, uh, located on Mile Marker 83. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, just have a, have a good time. You know, all the food you can eat, sponsored by Ziggy and Mad Dogs, and all mm -hmm. the drinks you can drink Heineken, Votran rum, and Tito's vodka. And <laughs> so you're excited about that part, I can tell, Nick. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that's the captain's party Friday night, and then Saturday night is, uh, yeah, I am excited about that, but uh, is at Chesapeake Resort, and, you know, the one-day fishing Saturday, mm -hmm. and... Uh, in a fun weekend and all the proceeds Nick it's important to mention that all the proceeds go to the Mariners Hospital yep it goes to uh, Mariners Hospital um, but specifically Mariners Hospital Oncology Center um, which for anybody that has had or has had a family member or um, or a loved one suffer uh, from cancer uh, any amount of time traveling or anything is really taxing on them. So to have a uh, 
a wonderful oncology center in the Isla Mirada for residents to visit battling with cancer is, uh, is just something, something wonderful and we're really proud to support it. Great, and a lot of money has been raised for the oncology. Yep, over 60000 uh, for the oncology center uh, since the inception mm -hmm. of the Mad Dog uh, tournament. And uh, we're always looking for ways to support the community. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's, it's the town we live in. It's the town that we, uh, we have a business in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we can do anything to bring people together and to, and to have a good time and at the same time support uh, something like Mariner's Hospital Oncology Center, it, it, it's awesome and mm -hmm. we love doing it. Well, great. Well, hopefully everybody can enter now for the tournament. And you mentioned your restaurant, Ziggy and Mad Dogs, Nick, which is in Isle Mirada and it's also all about your dad. Oh, uh, yeah, Ziggy <laughs> and Mad Dogs. Dad's nickname was uh, Mad Dog, uh, Jim Mad Dog Manage. So, uh, it was a it was a legendary restaurant previously, Ziggy's Conk, which was hist historically in Isla Mirada. It, it's uh, it's a definitely a landmark or was a landmark. And my dad used to come down in the 70s with all his player buddies and stuff like that, and they would go to Ziggy's Conk. And Ziggy, everyone knows Ziggy how he used to recite the menu off the top of his head, and then the business. Uh, transitioned over into Ziggy's Crab Shack, I believe, and went out of business. And then, you know, here comes uh, Mad Dog. Mm -hmm. He stepped on the scene and and uh, and took it over uh, about ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Came at Ziggy and Mad Dogs, and and here it is. And here it is, <laughs> wonderful restaurant. Uh, if you haven't been there, I encourage you to try it. Wonderful staff and. Uh, Really, really proud of it. Really proud of the staff and um, and our customers and you know and everybody. It's, it's definitely a, definitely have to try. It. <laughs> All right. Well, Nick, thank you so much for being on this morning. And if anybody wants more information on the fishing tournament, they can just check out the information that you've seen on the bottom of the screen. I look forward to hearing how much money you raised for the oncology center, Nick. So come back soon and tell us. More people, more <laughs> money for the oncology center. So. Uh, Look us up and look forward to uh, being back on, Jenna. I really appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning and joining me. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and you can join me right back here tomorrow morning again at 7 a.m. and 8.30. Take care, everyone. If I, 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 I could walk up.